This podcast contains explicit content intended for adults 18 years of age or older. These stories are not intended for children under the age of 18. Viewer discretion is advised. Come on, dude, say it. Don't be a wuss. Steve edges me on to say her name over and over. I will, just shut up. Let me concentrate. I respond as I look in the mirror in the bathroom with the light off and begin to say, Bloody Mary. I pause for a second. Steve says, You're such a wuss. (laughs) Dude, if you don't shut the fuck up, I don't know what I'm going to do to you. Steve realizes I'm serious and says, Alright man, but really though. I give him a look for a second then decide to continue. Bloody mu- What's up dudes? God, Dave, dude, you scared the shit out of us. You could have knocked, eh? Dave kind of gives me and Steve a look and says, Kind of weird you guys in the bathroom with the lights off, you know? Man, shut up. Steve quickly responds. I chime in. Well, you want in on the seance, or what? Dave pauses for a second, then responds, Yeah, maybe you could conjure up someone cooler to hang out with. Ha ha ha. Yeah, wouldn't that be shut the fuck up and play the game, dick? Steve hits back, dick, dick. Alright, now that we have everyone to a mutual agreement, let us begin. Steve nods his head. I nod. Dave gives a half smile. Hit the light. Dave flicks the light switch and I begin, staring into the mirror, seeing the dark reflection, I say, Bloody Mary. (laughs) Dave chortles at the situation. Dude, stop ruining the moment. Yeah, fuck you, dick. Okay, alright, for serious this time, go ahead. Dave responds in promise. I turn back to the mirror and say, Bloody Mary. We all scream as a distorted woman's face appears in the mirror, screaming, shattering the mirror. We all try to make our way out the door, pushing and shoving each other to get back into the light. But there is no light. We encounter a dark figure in the living room, only a bit of light from the TV, revealing a lady with black, long hair covering her face, dressed in a white nightgown soaked in blood. Her head twitches slightly as her mouth opens. She screams as blood pours from her mouth onto the floor. All the doors around us slam shut, leaving us trapped with this thing. We back up against the wall. As our shoes get covered with blood, the room is filling up with blood that flows from her mouth. Her hair falls out in chunks and her skin starts falling off. Before we know it, her body drops into the pool of blood that's up to our waist now. Nothing but the grotesque sound of bloody goop all around us, gripping the walls. There's nothing we can do. Bloody Mary, I will teach you now.